On today's stream, I watched even more of YouTube's scariest ghost sighting videos. And honestly, they did not disappoint. Now, although we did have some of our most silly ghost sighting videos ever, things that could obviously be explained, we also had some of the creepiest ones I've ever seen. This is one of the first times I've genuinely jumped out my skin at one of these videos. This was terrifying. And just to top things off, we had our own little antics mixed in as well. It ain't a Jack Manifold stream if it don't get a little bit weird. So if you do enjoy this, then please feel free to subscribe. I'm doing more and more paranormal content over on my Twitch and I'm loving it. And if you are as well, but for some reason you can't catch it live, something here means you will never miss any videos on this channel. So, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. I I looked, and Bizarre Bub, could you believe it? Bizarre Bub, my favorite scary video YouTuber, has in fact not made a new compilation. Oh, I'm, on, I'm logged into the wrong channel. Hold on. Uh, oh, secret channel. Don't look at that. Five months. I oh, love you, bald guy, thing. less than three. Thank you so much. Thank you for the prime Ricky Honk. But either way, as you can see, they have not made a new compilation. So we're going to have to go back into their backlog. Like scary comp version 58. The show last night was incredible. Hope you're all enjoying the tour. We are, thank you. So I guess we're gonna start here at version 58. Which is alright. That's fine. We'll go back. Switch to the scene, let's do that. Let's get on with it. Sign Olive, thank you the prime. On yeah, August 13th of 2015, let's get started. A group of friends were let's not dilly nor dally any further. Night. Let's just watch this shit. Bro, headass, notice me. Hello, James Marriott. I saw you earlier today and I hugged you in the street. Nice haircut. Thanks, James. You saw me on the way to get the haircut and you probably thought, wow, it's such a dead haircut he has right now. He needs, he's in need of a fresh trim immediately. He looks dead. And that's true, James. I did. But then I saw you in the streets and I hugged you tight. And I thought, I really need to get this sorted. And I immediately went for a haircut. So thanks for... I was going to say something thanks funny. Thanks for inspiring me, James. think of anything. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you for the, the prime in the lane. When something pretty terrifying appeared on the road, the vehicle's dash cam captured not only this creepy encounter, but- Hey, Dad, that's my real dad. Hey, Dad, how many months are you sub now? Thanks for the 35 months, Dad. I appreciate that. So happy Father's Day for the other day. What's up with James? What's James been saying? Yeah, dude, your hair got slightly shorter. Needed that for real. It looks good, man. He's giving me that fucking fade. I'm slightly faded. In... Look at that shit. Slight fade. The line up on the hairline. Hello, Jack Manifold. Look it at that fucking hairline, months. James. You kill for this shit. Hey, hey, hey. You kill for this shit. You probably get some sort of fucking procedure to get a hairline like this. Me? It's fucking natural. It's my dad's genes. And he's been subbed for 35 months. How long have you been subbed, James? Probably none. Bitch. Bitch ass. I've been all my fucking car gummies. It's alright, Mr. Beast sent me fucking three more packs. You're a bitch, James. Let's get back to reacting. King's... King is a lie. Thank you for the prime. Also, the reaction of those inside the car. Although not much else is known about the video, the group's response is enough to let us know that what months. they'd seen has Wasn't left them able disturbed. To you after the show yesterday, this but is what they you saw. You were incredible oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Thank you for the 30 months. Who's there a placement? Is that a ghost? <laughs> I'm looking, I don't see anything. What? It was a lamppost. Spooky. Brother! That is a lamppost! Lamp! Oh, the webcam is blocking it. Hold on. Sorry, let me let's get that back. Let's get that back. Thank you for all the subs coming through, by the way. Hi. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Thanks for, thanks for six everything months. you do. Thank you. Nice shiny head today, by the way, lad. Have I love a, a bit nice of shiny stream. head. Anyway. On August 13th of 2015, we went too far. Skip it in the the vehicle's dash cam captured Whoa, not only this creepy year, encounter, but also Finally the reaction of money to sub six months ago. Yes! Of those inside the car. Sure. Although not much else is known about the video, the group's response is enough to let us know lamp that ghost? what no, I think it's just a lamp has left post. them disturbed. Like an unironic just post. This is what they saw. Watch this. They just see a lamppost and scream. <laughs> what? A lamppost? A piece of architecture? Scary lamppost. Scary lamppost. Actually, just a lamppost. Just the bottom of a lamppost. What is this? 
Those are legs. That is the bottom of a lamppost. Scary lamppost. What do you mean? That was a person, King. That is a oh, scary... <laughs> Look. Let's watch that again. It's just the bottom of a lamp, right? Wait, hold on. I'm going to go back. Watch it in full context. <laughs> Is that not just the bottom of this post here? It moved? When? It just gets- it just disappears out of frame! Does it even move? <laughs> and the guy goes, Whoa! Just like the most, like, horrific scream over a lamppost. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I see a lamppost. <gasps> what are you talking about? Ridiculous. Faith, thank you for your fucking normal tier one that isn't 10 pixels. 10 pixels worth of fear. Is an object. Just something in the road. <laughs> oh wait, they're going back, they're going back. Have a great stream, big man, less than three. Thank you. Maybe 20 months, oh 31 months, sorry. Good evening, Jack. I turned 20 Happy birthday! <laughs> what? Let's go back and look at it again, okay. No, hold on, we have to pause the video. Thank you for 10. So open the door. Let's film it. Open the door. You're not on dash cam. Open the door and stick my foot out. What? I'm scared of it. It's spooky. I'll film it. Imagine she's gone already. She is a lamppost. <laughs> if it's moved in the time, if it's moved in that time, I won't be shocked on account of they took the longest fucking route. <laughs> Oh, it isn't a lamppost. That's just a human. It's not a lamppost. All right, I'll agree with you now. That isn't a lamppost, but it's just like a fucking human being. What are you screaming about? It's just a woman. It's just a woman. That's just a lady. She's probably like on crack. She's probably just like in the middle of the road because she's drunk. Me when I see a woman. What do you mean? Actually, just a lady. <laughs> Imagine, are, are they on drugs? They're drunk driving. This is this is fucking alcohol and bit. This is what fucking alcohol and driving does. Give me my keys. This is why you don't do that. Actual insanity. Actual insanity. What do you mean? This is drunk drivers. Listen to them, they're fucking sloshed. <laughs> Our eyes met. You literally just saw a woman. She looked back at you. Actual moron. Okay, th this is the this is the most normal thing that's ever made its way to this channel. On the side of the road, there appears to be a tall figure dressed in black. You're telling me people are outside? It stands completely still, <laughs> looking straight at the vehicle as it passes by. Understandably, the men screamed upon seeing this eerie figure. <laughs> Understandably? What do you mean? But, even more unsettling, is that when the group had circled back to this exact spot, the figure was still there. What? Someone now, stood the in the same place? Night, but if so, then this definitely sobered them up had circled back to this exact spot. Wait, did he, did he call them out for drunk driving? The figure was still there. Now it's unclear if the guys were drinking that night. Now it's unclear if they were drink driving or not. It, it's unclear whether they were on amphetamines. What do you mean? It is just a woman out in the open. 
but if so, then this definitely sobered them up. Whether ghost or not. It's actually just three drunk men in a car seeing a woman stood in the road and freaking out for no reason. I think it's safe to assume that the next time they drive home at night, they'll be taking a different route. They'll fucking be sober, hopefully. Not taking it. Fuck off. This one's got me mad. This is a this, this is a powerful start to this fucking stream. They've seen a person in in the street and screamed and put it on the ghost channel, and the ghost man went, "Yeah, this is creepy enough." Shh. I can't. I can't. The following oh, video hello. comes from Donna Ayers, who can you right, Donna? Help but feel that something is haunting her. What? According to Donna, there yes. have been strange happenings inside her home that neither- Like this cross being slightly askew. She just hung it that way, but isn't it off-putting? We need to investigate this home. Well, play then. She, nor her family, could explain heirs, who can't help but feel that something is haunting her. According to Donna, there have been strange happenings inside her home that neither she. What? The. Thanks for the Something content, fell Volume. off a wall. I've been watching you on YouTube all morning. Glad to see you're live. Thank you. Have a good Guys, Less did three. gravity just work? Guys, this ha this does. I love being in STEM. Shenanigans, tomfoolery, escapades, and mischief. Oh, that is me 100%. I am a fucking. I'm a, I'm a fucking man in STEM. I'm in all those things. Thank you. Sage things tier one. Gravity. Jack the sarcasm. I'm you know what? This is the thing, right? I am not like I I fully believe in like ghosts to a to a degree. Because I've had creepy experiences. You all saw the Sam Colby video. You've all seen that clip from my I stream. You in right? and screamed in your face and panicked and didn't get a picture. Oh, I'm sorry. The only picture I have, it looks like I terrified, so I'm very apologetic. Lovely That's alright, Alice. You, though, Thank you for the the quid. It's really made up for it. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, like, I do believe in some ghost stuff. Like, I've seen some shit happen. But these are weak. There is a woman in the road, and gravity did gravity. I, I'm, I'm gonna call out bullshit when I see it. I think this is the thing. Like, I, I am, I, I do believe in the paranormal to some degree, but I reckon there's a lot of bullshitters out there who just see anything and are like, guys, this must be ghosts, when it's clearly easily explainable. And, like, this is the exact same fucking thing. Both of these just been like, yeah, it's... It's a normal occurrence. Guys, guys, how does an invisible force make things move? No, guys, gravity isn't real. It must just be all the undead. They're coming up from the underworld and they're trying to pull us down. Pull us down to hell with them. That's how gravity happens. There's no such thing as just an invisible force, guys. Evil spirits from the underworld who are in hell are trying to drag us down with them. So they come up from the depths and they go... And they grab you by your ankles and they drag you down. And that's the effect we call gravity. That's what Isaac Newton spotted. Right? That's, that's the true fact. You know, that, that's the real fucking... That's the truth, you know? Nor her family could explain. Yay! So In gold, 2009... Thank you. Donna's brother had Sorry, passed yeah, yeah. away due oh, to unknown okay, reasons, laugh anymore. but ever since his death, Donna has been feeling very scared. Objects inside her house move by themselves, which seems to happen whenever Donna is present. That wasn't wild. So it, While a some, bit. it was a little bit weird. It seemed a bit of an unnatural movement, but it wasn't crazy. believe either. that her brother's ghost is responsible for the unusual activity, as it might be a sign of him reaching out to her. Donna believes that something else is inside her home something very malicious one night while being home alone donna sees the two with the donald trump cameo it's down the hole and to the right following and begins to record this is what she captured okay
Guys. Guys. Wind? Guys. The wind? Nah, no, yeah, I'm not... It, it was moving... A, no, I'm being, I'm being a dickhead. The, the, it was a slightly unnatural movement. Like, it, the spin... The swing and then the spin's a little bit weird, but like... You know, I wouldn't say this is hard proof of ghosts. I'd say you check your house for a draft before you, you jump to conclusions. Chandelier moves on its own. It gently sways back and forth. Yeah, key, note the word gently. The, the word gently is, you know... Before the video comes to an end. Like with most occurrences seen by Donna, this one has left her spooked. But Reasonably. this wouldn't be the only occurrence caught on camera as something way more creepy is captured. A few days after the previous incident, Donna's in her kitchen when out of nowhere, she notices one of her mugs moving on its own. She immediately begins to record and captures this. As you can see, just so you lot don't think I'm crazy, I'm not going too close because I get launched at. But there's what? There's you get launched there. at. That's just a bracket from an old drawer that used to be there. Right. There's All right, Donna. In the cupboard, it's just cutlery and. Is that the lid to a pot noodle, Donna? Why are you uh, keeping them? There's nothing. Oh, you keeping them to make your tinfoil hat? The cupboard. What? It's just. That's the lid of a pot noodle, Donna. You don't need to keep them. I wasn't even- that's actually the lid of a pot noodle! Donna! They go in the bin, Donna! What? <laughs> Why are there several? <laughs> what do you mean? Recycling? Why are you keeping them in your drawer? Put them in the recycling bin! This is a bizarre episode. So far, we've had drunk men driving and seeing a woman, gravity, wind, and a collection of pot noodle lids. This is fucking baffling. Stuff. Nothing under there, apart from pots and pans. There's no magnets. That's just um, a switch. All right. There's nothing there at all. Nothing out the ordinary, but yet, shit keeps moving. <laughs> shit keeps moving. Let's have a look, Donna. Can you move it again, please? If you're here, move it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just show you as well. There's nothing underneath, there's nothing. I don't like when someone starts explaining shit like they're a magician. Like, I get there's skeptics out there and it does help to, like, let people know. But, like, I... To me, if you have the time to spend a whole section of the video explaining why this isn't fake, and then, conveniently, the ghost activity happens on camera during that clip... Like, from my experience, ghost activity is completely random. Like, I've never once, like, the Simon Colby video, when that was like a mega haunted house. We had some things that happened as we asked them to happen. But, like, that one clip I got on stream, complete chance happening. It just was a coincidence that I was live as it happened. You know what I mean? If I wasn't live, we would have never have captured it. But, like, I don't know. But then again, she did wait for a fucking while. Like, that sped through footage was a lot. So, at the same time, like... Maybe? Yeah, we'll keep watching. It's just an old metal cup. Oh, it's metal, is it, Donna? You see, right, you know you know when I thought it was ceramic, I was a bit thrown off, because there's nothing that should be able to influence ceramic. But when you said metal, I thought, ah, magnets affect metal, Donna. Metal. Well, now you've affirmed me that it's metal, I'm now a little bit less... Weird. Oh my gosh. Metal. Weird. Oh my gosh. The surface isn't wet or anything. It's all dry. So there's no reason for it to be moving. She reacted very calm for someone who, uh, who just saw a mug move by itself. Also, I don't mean to be 
Look, now I can't see any strings or anything like that, but I'm going to make one point that's a little bit like... Metal. Weird. Oh my gosh. I'll watch the again. The surface isn't wet or anything. It's all dry. So there's no reason for it to be moving. It always moves in the direction of the handle. Which is a really convenient place to tie a string. Is my thinking. That's my sort of, it always like moves with the handle, which is a really like, it's usually a sort of like big sign as if something moves from a point where you could tie a string. It's probably got a string tied to it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm again, like, I, I feel like I've, I feel like the dickhead today because usually I'm a bit more into this, but all these just, none of this is convincing to me. All of this seems a little bit like fake and shit, if I'm being perfectly honest, which I'm forced to be on these streams. Also, you could use a magnet because it is metal. If there was nothing below the counter that could have been moving the cop, then how was it doing this on its own? With all of their occurrences, I do admit, like, she, she went through a good effort to show us there was nothing there, but, like, also. Yeah, like, fishing line is invisible on camera most of the time. Like, you hardly can fucking Donna see has seen. She believes that something supernatural had done this. Although not sure what exactly had moved the cop, the same Oh. With all of their occurrences Donna has seen, she believes that something supernatural had done this. Although not sure what exactly had moved it's still moving by the handle, but it's moving in the opposite direction, which is a bit weird. Because if there was a bit of line attached to it, they'd have to go over her and... It's a bit odd, but like, I'm still not. ...of the cop, the same paranormal entity is thought to be responsible for the following incident. Unlike... ...think supernatural... No, I don't mean to be... I don't mean to alarm anyone here. ...had done this. Although not sure what exactly had moved the cop, the same paranormal... It looks like there's a lot of smoke here. Normal entity is thought to Donna, be responsible for the following. Your house incident. is on fire, Donna. Unlike other incidents, Donna Patrol had done this. Donna, although not for the following. The incident. house is on fire. This smoke, Donna. Donna, leave. Donna, the house is on fire. Unlike other incidents, though, this one. <laughs> Donna, you got to live in fire. At the start of the video. Donna is informing us of a strange incident involving her toy Donna! fish, tank, which we can see. Can't live in fire. Definitely not subbed just for Manifold, Chad. Well, look, ma that, that's fine. Just, I, I appreciate that you sub regardless. Footage. But, while so telling us what happened, something pretty creepy is captured. Is that supposed to be a we, fish tank to say? But, it's of a strange incident involving her toy fish tank, which we can- Oh, this is a fish tank. It's bubbles. Guys, it's bubbles in water. We can calm down. It's just bubbles. It's bubbles. Bubbles, guys. Not fire. Donna's fine. Donna's safe. Her house is not on fire. House isn't on fire. Guys, false alarm. False alarm, guys. Hey, Jack. Thanks for the many months of entertainment. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. You can see in the footage. Anything, thank you. But while telling us what happened, something pretty creepy is captured. We Hello, can hear Mr. Donna's Bullman. dog reacting to I came to the out to my sister as trans today, and it went well, so to celebrate, oh, I give you my money. Looking thank you. Looking forward to seeing you at the London show on Saturday. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing you as well. I hope it goes well. I'm looking forward to that show. It's odd occurrence as it happens. Wait, no, she's drowning. No! Donna, you can't breathe in water. You can't live in water, Donna. Shit! Oh, we should have known. Thank you for the subs, by the way. I really do appreciate well, it. Yeah, that's um, basically the new tank. Um... Basically. She fully sounds like she's from Mansfield, though. This is the one Hi, thing. Jack. The more I'm I hear her talk, she sounds like she's from my end. Tattoo at the Plymouth show soon. I'll tweet it when it's done. Heart. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, months. I did draw a little angry man for you to, to get a tattoo. Thank you. I appreciate it, Roblin. Yeah, she sounds like she's from like where I grew up, which is a bit. I'll just keep it in the background, and you can see. Um... Um, just strange feelings. Mm, no, she's a bit more northern. She's not quite from where I'm from. Strange isn't the way we'd say that's more Yorkshire. We'd say strange. 
almost like you can feel the dark entity that's here. And it's entity. almost like a pressure around you. And the only thing you can do is record it so people see it. <laughs> it's the only thing you can do. The only thing you can do is film it. She's from Birmingham. Sounds about Rather right. Rather than just say it and no one see what's happening at the same time and what's going on. Oh, well, I don't so, know, actually. Uh, hmm. but, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Whimpering? Where was the whimpering? But, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. They were... It's a wild screenshot. Fucking <laughs> whimpering. Do you mean whimpering? They're certainly acting a bit weird. Sounds like that fucking weird puppet fish. Like, like, oh. That's all I heard. They were they're certainly acting a bit There. Oh. Oh. It's all I can fucking hear. One more time. They were they're certainly acting a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> If a ghost haunts my house and all it does is goes, oh, at random times he can stay. It's funny as fuck. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Can you imagine? Imagine you're haunted by a ghost, but all it does is just at random times goes, oh. That's comic gold. He can stay. It's a bit weird. The chain's a bit weird. And yet I don't. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking psychic pebbles video. It's just like you know, you know that, that one video he's got like the little baby, he's like, Oh, you know why daddy had to punish you? And he's got like that little child, it's like eh. It literally sounds like a fucking psychic pebbles video. Like listen, let me find the video. I know the exact video I'm talking about. Uh. Uh. Where's the video? No, the, I want the original video, not the fucking. You understand why? No, wait, wait, hold on. It's a re-upload. Okay, the, the video isn't up anymore. It literally reminds me of this video. The, the fucking whimpering the ghost is making is exactly what this fucking little creature here makes. Do you understand why I had to punish you earlier? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, why'd why I have to punish you? Because I bit you. Because you bit me? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Are you hungry from your big day today? Uh. Ah! 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 <laughs> Shit! I was supposed to stop it before it got there. Ah, uh, that was... I was supposed to stop it before it got there. What, what the manifold? I, I didn't mean to... It's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure that isn't TOS. I'm pretty sure that isn't TOS. I hope. Severely hoping that isn't TOS. Really hoping that isn't TOS. I don't think it is. I don't think so. I wasn't going to risk it, but like it, 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 got, it got there a bit quicker than I expected. Uh, well. Hey, no, well. Let's change the title to Last Jack Manifold Stream and let's just full steam ahead this shit. It was a baby bottle. Yeah, it was a baby bottle. It was a baby bottle. He was giving him a baby bottle to feed him, actually. I don't know why. I don't know why we actually just made all that fuss. It was a really weird. I, I, I actually take back the fuss. It was a baby bottle. I don't know if you saw it. It was a baby bottle. It was about to feed him. Yeah. It was, uh, but either way, the, uh, as, as I was saying, the, uh, the whimpering is just the exact same noise. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> it's just that little fucking creature. That's all I can do. She's just haunted by the fucking psychic pebbles creature.
<laughs> That's so funny. Turn the camera around. 180 degrees, Donna. If no one's around you, turn it 180 degrees. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. It's bringing tears to my eyes. No one gets it. My chain's moving on my neck. Mysteriously. Do you think she just wanted to, like, flex on us? Like, she just wanted to show us her chain? Like, look, guys, my chain's moving on my... Guys... Guys, my, guys, my, uh, my chain, my, my gold chain, it's moving on my neck, but it's, guys, guys, I don't know if you can, I have this chain, right? It's like, it's like Versace, but that's not the point. It's, it's moving like by itself. That's crazy, right? Nah, it, it like cost me, it cost me like a few bands, but like, yeah, no, nah, it's like moving though. Like that's, that's the point I was trying to make. Like, yeah, it was expensive. Like, sure. Yeah, absolutely. It was, but like, also like, like, like j it, it's moving. Her necklace appears to be tugged by something. It is at this point that she's seen enough to be brought to tears by this incident. Now it's worth mentioning that Donna had played with a Ouija board prior to one of these incidents. She- No, Donna! Donna, you've- Oh, well, you've caused it, haven't you, Donna? Believes that this might have worsened the activity in her home. Yes! But isn't sure if that's the case. Oh, well, no, fuck it. Literally, like, I, I look. I've never used a Ouija board. I don't know if they're real or fake. I don't care to find out. Any- any account I've heard of a Ouija board is always that it brings bad shit on, right? I, I'm never going to fuck with a Ouija board ever. Now I'm more inclined to believe Donna's house is haunted. Because fucking Ouija boards are bad news, bro. Bad fucking news. Viewers beg to differ. But, as always, I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not something paranormal is happening. Are all of these events... None of this has me convinced. Like, all of this... It is a bit weird, like, the things moving by themselves, like, she did make a good effort to prove it wasn't fake, but that almost makes me think it is fake. Like, if, if you're confident that something is real, you'll just film it and post it and be like, look, you don't have to believe it, but this is what happened. Where, like, if you're faking something, you want to convince people, you know? It's indicative of something supernatural, or is something else going on here? I'm not that convinced yet. Somewhere All of these so far have been pretty shit. I'm looking forward to like a in good Japan. One. There's an abandoned build somewhere in Japan. The research, the research. Somewhere in Japan, I don't fucking know where, but like somewhere in that country. Building that is believed to be haunted. About a year ago, two friends had paid a visit to this building. They check out the place and agreed that waiting on that Donna money spread. What do you mean? Why- why would Donna be posting a money spread? Because she has the chain? Is that what you mean? Fucking hell. In Japan, there's an abandoned building that is believed to be haunted. About a year ago, two friends had paid a visit to this building. They check out the place and agreed that there's something very unsettling about it. It's just abandoned. So However, far. the reason for visiting yeah, this building rough. isn't just to explore the place, but rather for something else. Drugs. I don't trust it because it's a YouTube channel. I don't trust anyone that makes like exploring abandoned places videos where they frequently see like ghost shit. I, I know I did a Simon Colby video. I trust them more, but I I their, their videos are different. Like I I'm talking about like I like Simon Colby's a completely different vibe. I I'm talking about like like people like that one guy that had a gun and he kicked the door down. And he's like, hello. You, you guys know, if you're a Jack Manifold like viewer, you know what I'm talking about. That one guy who went to an abandoned place with a gun, saw like a whole shadow figure that was like definitely not fake, and then kicked a door down and went, hello, with a gun as if he could shoot the ghost. That, I'm talking about people like that guy, and this is giving me that vibes immediately. But I'm, I'm willing to see it out, because at the end of the day, there's good Samaritans out there like Sam and Colby, who I, I do believe on account of being there and seeing it all. Why are you sleeping here? Goofy, I'll laugh. 
じゃあまあそういうことでえマジで俺たちはやるから頑張って As a yeah, structured too much like a challenge. Like, oh, you've got to sleep here by yourself. Like, that feels a bit weirdly challengy. I don't know, though. Turns out, one of the friends had lost a bet to the other. And so, for his punishment, the loser must spend the night inside this building all by himself. You see, <sighs> that feels like a setup for something fake. This is the weakest episode we've watched by far. Like, all of these are in no way convincing so far. And just to make sure that he doesn't cheat or avoid this punishment, a camera is placed inside the room he sleeps in to record him at all times. As the bet loser spends the night inside the building, the following is caught on camera. Eh. I'm not ultimately convinced yet, but this one this one feels the most convincing we've seen today, but I'm not you know. The setup has me a bit Him not reacting makes me a little bit more convinced because it'd be too dark for him to see that. So the fact that he didn't react is quite reasonable. Oh shit. Caught the wrong button. Oh. Out of nowhere, this person's shoes. Be ah, no, that that I'm a little bit like, because they didn't push it. But I I find with a video, if this was fake, they like I would imagine they'd push it, and like something crazy would happen. But like shoes moving a bit, and then like a a, a faint like sort of figure in a camera. It's not unreasonable. Like that's not unreasonable to believe. Like that I'm a little bit more like, this one I'm a little bit more like, eh, could be began to move on their own. It appears that something was messing around with them, as if that wasn't creepy enough. Around the same time the man wakes up, a figure of some sort can be seen walking slowly figure. against the wall before vanishing from sight. Viewers believe that something paranormal was caught. But of course, what do you think? Did something supernatural actually occur? Or is there a possible explanation for what happened that night? Yeah, that's weird. Like, it's just weird. And like, I, I, I always find that when you don't, like I, I find people who fake things have a tendency to really push it and like fake it too much. Like they just fake something outlandish. Well, that's just like, oh, I got him to stay in this creepy place and like something did actually kind of happen. Like I'm more willing to believe that. It's the most believable video today. Could be fake. But like, you know. Like, I've never been to Japan. I don't know how haunted Japan is. You know, it's, it, and, it, and it could be anywhere, so. For more information on the story, you can check out the full video on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Uh, is it linked? Because I might actually give the video a look. Let me give it a look. I want to I look at this fourth wall. Let's have a look. Uh... When did this come out? 8th of June, 2022, so like a year ago. People may see a ghost after long COVID. What? Oh, okay, so their thing is catching ghosts on camera. All right. 
I'm a little bit put off by people may see a ghost after long COVID. The, the, the COVID ghost seems potentially a little far-fetched. And that makes me distrust this channel as a whole. I want to try and find that. What video is it? You didn't say what the video was. You just said you could check out the video on this channel. Uh, yeah, it's not linked anywhere. It's annoying. I want to try and find it. People may see it. That's wild. A tra title's translated. Yeah, but the, surely, like it, it, uh, like even if it was poorly translated, that like, there's a level at which, like, it's in the thumbnail. You know, eccentric ghosts. What does that mean? Oh, I need to blow my nose in a second. Hold on, I will have to get up and get a tissue in a second. I apologize. I've just got the worst snotty nose. Ugh. Yeah, I can't find this video. Is it this one? Oh, it might be this one. Oh, no, it isn't. Ah, this. This is the one. Found it. That's all there. Yeah, my God. Oh, that is the whole video. It's just like a four minute long video. Oh, there are all the comments are in Japanese. So I can't tell what the comments think. Ghost or no ghost, that man's voice is deep and sexy. That's all I needed to know. Never mind. That is a ghost, people. A man with a deep and sexy voice wouldn't lie. Fucking YouTube comments, man. I know. I mean, that's the more convincing, but then the long COVID ghost video makes me less convinced. I'm going to be real. The following photo was submitted by Shockwave74, who writes, This was a photo taken years ago by wife and husband. They moved into a new beautiful home. The wife then decided to take a photo of her husband in the living area. Okay. But... When they saw the photo, they were left terrified and shocked. What do you mean? The following is the picture she took. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty fucking freaky. Yep, no, I see that. If you look close enough, you can make out what appears to be a head in the background of this image. Now, although this might be an actual person, it's unknown if the married couple had any guests over during the time of this photo. They have like, they're, they're fa- and, 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 and this is a real person, I feel awful saying this. Their face is a bit weird. Like, it, it looks ever so slightly, like, off. Person. But that either ma that makes me think one of two things. It isn't a face, it just looks a bit like a face because, like, objects sometimes look a bit like faces. Or, like, paranormal shit. That's so fucked up. I'm sorry. Like I'm, act I actually feel bad. But like it, it look, yeah. Someone said, "Hey, like it looks like a mask. It looks like fucking uh, 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 uh Michael, M Mike Myers, like ha from Halloween. Like he's wearing a mask of a face. Like it just doesn't look quite right. It has an ear. It does look a lot like a face, though. I'll give you that. It's unknown if the married couple had any guests over during the time of this photo. I didn't mean to be mean. I'm sorry. You, you shit bricks if you went to Liverpool. Everyone looks like that there. I was just in Liverpool, all right? I, mean, I was there like last week. But given the reaction upon seeing the figure, it's most likely that whoever or whatever this is was uninvited. Not much else is known about the photo, but I'll leave it to you to decide whether a ghost was captured or not. What exactly had the married couple caught in this image? This one's a creepy one. Like, it's a creepy picture, you know what I mean? Like it's, so what was the story? Uh, photo years ago, wife and husband, they moved into a beautiful new home. The wife decided to take a picture of her husband. Yeah, the, the reason I, I'm less convinced is because you think of the, like, you think if the wife was genuinely terrified and, and like this made its way online, you think the wife would be like, I took this picture and I don't remember there being a person there. Like, you think you'd have a first hand account? But to find a picture that looks eerie, post it and go, and like, 
The fact that the backstory comes from a third person perspective makes me a bit skeptical because oh, it looks like what? someone's taken an opportunity, seen a creepy picture and been like, I can spin a narrative that makes this scary and not just a prank. Where if it was a first hand account, I'd be like, oh, that's a bit weird. Like if the, if the woman who took the picture is like, I took this picture, I don't remember there being a person there, that's creepy. But like, who is bro? How does he know? Like exactly, like who is this guy? How does he fucking know they were terrified and shocked? Did they tell you? If In which case, how do they... Uh, what? You know what I mean? I, I don't get it. Just got a message from Average Harry that said, look at this... <laughs> I just got a message from Average Harry that says, look at this ghost I caught on camera. Uh, and it's it's just this. Uh, that's, that's the picture. That's pretty terrifying, Average Harry. But yeah, like, I don't know, you know, like... I, I, yeah, I, I just don't, like, I'm just not convinced. Like, I, I think if, if the wife was really shocked and terrified, she'd say it herself. Instead of sending it to a mate who then posted it online. Like, surely if you were their mate, you'd be like, you should post that online. Instead of going, I will post that online on your behalf. You know? I don't know. It's just weird. If you caught something creepy on camera, Looks or like if there's Eminem. any ghost videos you'd like me to check, you spotted Eminem in his home. Out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Scary videos. That's me on a scary video. Facebook user Dayana Kari works at a bank in Kalo, Peru. The bank in question isn't thought to be haunted, but after watching this video, which was sent to Dayana by a coworker at the bank. Wait, it's in the, <laughs> the bank isn't thought to be haunted is great. Like it's just a normal bank then? Like, <laughs> like the bank isn't thought to be haunted. Like most banks. Facebook user Dayana Kari works Facebook at a bank user is a, in Kalo- Facebook user is a strong title. It's not a title I'd ever want. Like, uh, I reckon if someone called me a Facebook user, I'd... Pretty upset. Peru. I'm pretty upset. The bank in question isn't thought to be haunted, but after watching this video, which was sent to Dayana by a coworker at the bank, it might just be. The video starts off with said coworker, who's recording a conversation that's being had with another employee, when He's all weird. of a sudden, the convo is interrupted by something. <laughs> the convo is getting casual with us. You know what I mean? He's like, ah. The convo. This is what was caught. <laughs> Does it even bother translating this? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. That's weird. Now the bank was apparently closed during the time of this record. That is weird. Now the bank was apparently closed during the- It's a little bit weird. They're grinning too much. Yeah, also, I, I don't know what the context of the conversation is, but it's weird to be filming randomly. But also like, it's kind of creepy, but like, could be edited. Camera is- Now the bank- Let me just- The camera's like shockingly- You see, that doesn't look quite right. That that looks a bit wrong. Hold on. If you oh, if you shit, I skipped it. Wrong. If you look at the frames, like they start there, and then they go behind this, but then they're like they're kind of in front of it here. It's a bit odd. Uh. I know there's something on the table, but it's like they go behind it, which makes sense. But then they like kind of appear and they've kind of clicked in front of it here. Like here, they're in front of the object. It, or it seems that way. It's, it is a bit hard to tell. No, it just doesn't seem to quite look right here. Now the bank was apparently closed during the time of this recording, which doesn't make any sense as there shouldn't have been any customers inside, see, let alone a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I skip the wrong bit? 
a child. Oh. Piss and shit. Skip Which doesn't wrong. make any sense, as there shouldn't have. Yeah, all right. So little figure runs. You see what I mean? It's kind of looks as if it's clipping a little bit. Customers. And like that? Yeah. Like that's that's hard. Fucking. There we go. Yeah, it's fucking edited. Okay, that that's like hard evidence. Like it like runs behind the desk. There's this fucking object on the desk here, and they go in front of it, despite the fact that the object's in the foreground. Like here, like just completely clips over this fucking desk lamp. Was like, look, the lamp is like that's here. Like, that's a bit of the thing. Like, oh, it's it's like part of really the close, screen. Let, the let me watch the video again. I'll, I'll work out. Might just be part of. Oh wait, no shit! That, that is the background. Who's recording a conversation? Never mind. That is the background. Fuck. Okay, I'm wrong. Wait, hold on. Okay. Apparently closed during the time of this record. Fuck. Wait, no, it is wrong. Recording. Which doesn't make any sense. Why is everyone saying it's Tommy in it? There shouldn't have been any customer. Never mind. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. I'm now thinking it's less edited. Because, like, that's quite... Like, it's quite a low-res video. So to be very aware of what's in the foreground and what's in the background. And, like, fucking... Like, frame them all out. And then, like, put in this object that, like, disappears in front of behind them. It is quite rough, to be fair. So unless it's done, like, you know, that is, like, shit. Duh. Now, now I'm, now I'm, like, struggling, struggling to justify it being edited as much now. Like, the only thing I can think of now is whether it's done with, like, some practical effect. ...have been any customers inside, let alone a child. The employees in the video had been the only ones there. Yeah, it seems that... Why is he perfectly recording that area, though? I, I, I admit, it's a weird camera angle to be filming at and all sorts. Like, it doesn't feel quite right. I'm still skeptical of it, but I'm struggling to say it's edited. Someone, or perhaps... It's edited, by, edited by someone who's good at what they're doing. Or, like, has a lot of attention to detail. Because it, it, it stays, like, in front of... Like, it's it, it, it sort of depth is, is, is... Something else was there with them. There has yet to be more information given on this video. But until then, we'll have to base our judgment on the recording itself. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, wait, hold on. I might just found the clip. As there shouldn't have... That is on the desk. I'm almost certain that's on the desk. Hold on. What do you mean? There is a weird angle to film a conversation between these two at. Where you have this in like the. Go around, brother. Go around. Go around. Please, you might be proving my point. It might be edited. Shit, okay. It's okay. He doesn't go around the right way, but it's fine. Okay. We might have a bit of evidence now. This is in the foreground. That is on the desk. I thought this was, it wasn't, but this is. Right? So if she clips in front of that. Wait. What are your thoughts on this? Wait, shit, I don't think she does. Shit, she doesn't. She fucking doesn't. She doesn't clip any of it. God's sake. I keep thinking I've like found like evidence it's edited and I can't. Which is annoying. Which is really annoying because like... Ah. Oh, like to edit such a low quality video like this is hard. Like that's a hard thing to do. Unless, uh, unless it was edited and then it got compressed by being shared online. So if you compressed it in post, then it makes it easier. But something feels staged about it, but not edited. I don't know. Thanks for watching, and I hope Thank you enjoyed. Thank you, Bizarre Bob. Until next time. Hey Jack, I was Benson girl at Manchester and Wolverhampton and got the crowd cheering. How are you? I'm very well. I hope you're well too.
Thank you for the sub. So today, let's let's review my most likely and least likely to be real list. Cookie. I'd say out of all of them, everything today feels pretty damn scripted, like faked. But out of all of them, from mo least convincing to most. Least convincing is just these drunk men driving past a fucking woman in the road. That's that is that that was crazy. Video. It's the least convincing video we've ever seen. That is just a bunch of drunk idiots driving by a lady. Uh, yeah, that that is just a woman. That's by far the silliest one we've ever seen. Uh, Donna with her moving objects is. Uh, I mean, they're a bit odd, like, but also easily faked. And her effort she goes to to try and convince us it's not fake is a little bit like, all right, Donna. I, I would have believed you if you weren't so adamant on proving it to me. I don't know, you know, like, just, also like gravity and, and wind and stuff, I feel like. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, then, uh, I'd say number two, like, that is probably just someone in a mask or someone in the background. Like, I don't, I'm not too, like, actually, no, number three, I, I think actually just goes in order today. From least convincing to most. I think the video is just in order. Five is like the, the silliest. Then Donna. Then the fucking man with the moving feet. Not that that vid- uh, The shoes. Not that that video itself feels fake. But the fact that it's from the channel that made the long COVID ghost. Makes me feel like it probably is. Uh, the picture is like kind of creepy. But like at the same time. Like I want a first hand backstory. I don't really trust this second hand account. And then uh. This is a little bit weird. I'd say it's hard to edit. It feels staged in some capacity, but I can't... I got no evidence for that claim. So I'd say, like, yeah, maybe that is just a bit weird. I don't know. It's just a weird time to be filming and, like, angle to be filming at. But, like, I, it is weird. It is weird. That's all I'm going to say. It's weird. What's the COVID ghost? I don't know. It's just a video on the channel that this video came from. We looked into the channel at a video called The Long... Co if you get long COVID, you might see a ghost. But yeah. So that's my order for today. Ah, that's my order for this one. Man. Now, free money. thank you for the prime. Now the chandelier moves. OMG. OMG what indeed. a big deal. In it. Anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much for watching the first part. You see, there is more to come. This is not the end of the stream. However, it is something else. Anyway, let's watch some more bizarre bub, shall we? Let's find another compilation to watch. Hold on. <clears throat> see we've watched a lot of these at this point uh behind her or when you see it what, what do we say i'm intrigued by this couple holding each other but also i found anything involving babies has been the most convincing so far behind her all right cool during a live stream on I'm already excited. Let's get straight into this one. During a live stream on YouTube, something yeah. pretty creepy was caught on camera. Laura's kitchen. Oh no, I'm thinking, what am I thinking of? That woman that made like the fucking, like gray fucking spaghetti meatballs. She like wrapped the pasta in meat. K oh, I'm thinking of Kay's cooking. That's what I'm thinking of. It's not that guys, don't worry. The two people in this video are a mother and her son. Also, live stream's always pretty convincing. I mean, I've had a live stream ghost experience. Being a live video on their YouTube channel known as Laura's Kitchen. The channel All itself right. is solely based on cooking homemade meals, which Laura films herself. Ooh, okay. I respect these ones. Anything like this gets me. Like a channel that has nothing to do with ghosts. They're live and a thing happens. They are the most convincing by doing. far. From videos about making deviled eggs to showing how to make a dog. That's what did it, innit? They made the eggs of the devil. You know what that does? Attract spirits to your home. That's a known fact. It's an absolutely known fact. Tyler is confused. Thank you for the quid. Can't think of anything creative to say, but I just wanted to give you another quid because despite having no job and no money, I low key have a mild spending problem. Ha ha. That is not good, but thank you for spending it on me. Dutch cucumber salad. There's not a single video on this channel. That looks rough, to be fair. The cu the cu I love cucumbers. That does look rough. Sadly, uh, I've forgotten her name. Whatever her name is. What's your name again? I've forgotten her name. Well, the point is, it looks Channel rough. About anything paranormal, which makes this footage even more believable. 
As Laura and her son were live streaming on their channel, something very strange happened. Ever since then, they can't shake the feeling that their house is haunted. After 24 minutes into the live stream, Laura is telling a story when all of a sudden, the following happens. This is what they caught. At the back door, the dog had to pee. And there's a button that says pee pee by the back door. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's been quiet. Oscar has not bothered me all day. This is great. I think he's finally over this, right? So I said to the dog, hit the button. You want to go pee pee? Hit the button. So he hits the button and it goes, your mom's dead. <laughs> what the? So, anyways. What? What? Is she trying to imply that the ghost made the button go, your mom's dead, or did someone re-record it? Is that like what? Surely someone re-recorded it. It's a weird, as if like, can you, like, like uh, let me spin a yarn for you for a second. Imagine if, like, the spirit of the mum's watching over and she goes, your mum's dead, then laughs, and the mum's like, oi! Fucking slams a cupboard shut. The son recorded it. Ah, oh, okay. Strange. Okay. The cabinet behind you just opened and closed on its own. What? Is that what that was? <laughs> the fuck? She went immediately to the right cabinet, cabinet though. Unless someone in chat described it, it's just a bit weird that you immediately go for the right one. Also, what the fuck flew out of it? very legitimate reaction though it was only after a viewer of the live stream had told them about the cab the only thing i'm slightly skeptical of there is is the sort of like someone says oh the cabinet behind you opened and closed and she just immediately goes for the correct one in an array of cabinets like that's my only sort of like grievance you know what i mean i'm like it's a little bit weird, but like that cabinet was slightly askew and like she also heard the direction of the noise. Like, there's, a, there's a decent level of context clues where it isn't so odd. The button's weird as fuck. I think her son was trolling her. ...that they realized the source of the sound. It was then later that more activity had occurred. Now what's even more strange about this is that earlier in the live stream, Laura had been talking about her dead mother who had passed away 20 years ago. Given what occurred in the footage, Viewers believe that her deceased mother might be responsible for the strange activity. But of course, as with most videos, it's not certain if something paranormal was accountable for this. Doubtless. They both react pretty legitimately though. This odd occurrence has left Laura and her son terrified. But what do you think? Had some- That's fucked to the son to record that. That's not necessarily like, you know, I, I know people that will joke about dead relatives. Some people handle grief that way. Really depends on sort of your way. Like if the mum clearly is like someone to joke about that sort of thing, then it's not like, it's not insane. Who is this fucking strange fetishist in the chat who keeps asking me to do armpit farts? Who are you, bro? What is this? I didn't realize I was like a kink. I'm assuming it's a kink, right? Like, someone is in chat begging me to do an armpit fart. They keep asking. L look it up on fucking YouTube, man. Go get your kicks elsewhere. They've been doing it the whole stream. 
Bro, we've been live for an hour and 20 minutes. Please. Get your hand off your dick. I'm not going to do a fucking armpit fart. Christ almighty, they're so persistent. I was ignoring it. <laughs> I fucking love it. I, I, you like occasionally get this as a streamer. We're like, th there's people in this world who have like, like non-sexual fetishes. Like it's a sexual thing for them, but it's not explicitly sexual. So they do this thing where they'll like go into a stream and be like, hey, could you like, I'm trying to think of like a good example that like isn't this one. It's like, <laughs> it's like a f I've heard, seen a few. It's like, hey, can you, can, can, does your tongue go to the bottom of your chin? Could you stick your tongue out to the bottom of your chin, please? And they ask once and you think it's innocent. Like, I remember the first time I saw it and they were like, can you do an armpit fart? I'm like, whatever. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, it's just like probably like someone who just thinks that's funny. And like, that's normal. But then you like see them the whole stream every few minutes. Like, please, could you stick your tongue out and put it to the bottom of your chin? Please, could you, like... And I'm like, and then you, like... I've been here for, like, a long time trying to get this shit. <laughs> it's so, like, like it's so weird. But it's like... I, I, right, I, I, and this is, like, probably going to be a weird sentence, but I'm going to admit something about myself. One of my favorite things in life, one of the things that generates the most humor for me is, is the, like, people like that. I find it hilarious. I, Pyrus, someone just put Pyrocynical's ult in chat. <laughs> someone donated Pyrocynical's ult. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But no, uh, like one of my biggest, like the, the, the things in life that make me laugh the absolute fucking most is people with like, like these like non-sexual fetishes trying to work them into situations and being like low key about it. And it's like so blatantly obvious. Um, and I feel like, uh, but like, I feel like it's given me a knack for detecting it because I, I, I just find it so funny. Like, I, I, like I'm, I'm not going to suggest I don't know. I will suggest this. There's a YouTube series called Tiny Husband, right? It's called Tiny Husband. And it's this guy who like passes these off as comedy skits where he's really small and his wife, it, like he gets shrunk down. He's got like a big giantess wife and she like toys with him. And he like, and he like goes and hides in her slippers to like get away. And then her big foot comes and nearly crushes him. And it's like so obviously like this weird fetish thing, but like he's like passing it off as like comedy. <laughs> It's like, it's one of my, my favorite things on YouTube. <laughs> and my favorite little conspiracy theory about Tiny Husband is that there is no wife. And it's just because it's like they do like the Tom and Jerry thing. Like, the, like you know, the, the, the lady from Tom and Jerry, where you never see you above her legs. You just see her legs. Um... I like it's the same thing like you never see anything more than the wife's legs but i'm genuinely convinced that it's just tiny husband in tights like it's just the tiny husband but he's wearing tights now so, and, and like pretending to be the wife how do you know that who in chat has said your crew from the show want you to come out on the lash i know that who the fuck are you how the fucking feds get in here? The fucking feds are in this chat. Fucking Nard was in this shit. How do you know? What? Some random motherfucker just put in chat, the crew from the tour want you to come out and drink. I know that, because they invited me. How do you know? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Followed one minute ago. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm assuming it's one of the crew. I'm hoping it's just one of the crew who like have came to tell me. But they're like pretending they're not them. It's probably just someone from the crew. That was creepy as fuck. <laughs> Why is the, the chat's bizarre today? We got the fucking armpit fart guy. Oh, whoa, I almost fucking, he probably came just then. Uh, the armpit fart guy, and then we got a fucking Nardwar or some shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> fucking bizarre chat. I fucking edged him just then. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, fuck me. This is one of the best streams we've done in a while. <laughs> oh, oh, this is why you gotta show up live. You just don't know when moments like these are gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will ever top. I don't think I'll ever get a chatter better than the. No, there was! Fucking someone said, not the belly button guy. Yes! No, there was a dude in chat about like belly buttons once. I remember this. This was a part. There was a belly button dude, I swear, one time. I swear there was a belly button dude. Who was like the same shit. He was like, please show your belly button. <laughs> like over and over again. And he was he was the guy he was in for like a rare find because I got an outie as well, so he was like he was like in for it you know he he was like about to get like a fucking rare one, and like I've never shown my belly button I don't think because when I boxed I my my fucking belt went above my belly button, so yeah I, I, he was about to get a fucking he was about to get that rare rare shit you know that special type shit, fucking like rare Pokemon card. Oh, <laughs> a shiny <laughs> fucking outies of the shinies of belly buttons. Yeah, yeah. So the, the fucking fuckers like him. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even want to watch the video anymore. I just, I just want to keep talking about weird motherfuckers in chat. <laughs> Can you wiggle your eyebrows? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, right. No, I'm getting over it now. I'm calming down. <laughs> Can you fart? Fuck it. It's just going to be people asking me to do weird shit in chat now because I've expressed a like to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Let's play the video now. I think paranormal being caught on camera. Or is oh, there yeah, yeah. This was actually a weird this. one. Why? Feel free to share what you think down below. Oh, fucking hell. In this next video, a man is hiking in a secluded forest when he stumbles upon a small house that seems to be abandoned. After hesitating at first, he later decides to get close to the property. This is a creepy fucking house, by the way. That's a... <laughs> Someone just put, I can't stop laughing in chat and it set me off again. <laughs> just the idea of someone sat at home still laughing. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I can't! I can't just move back to the horror shit now. Like, I'm, I'm fucking distracted by the fucking weird fetishist in the chat. <laughs> That's such a fucking good bit. Oh, anyway, fucking... Look, weird PUBG house. Let's watch the PUBG house. A secluded forest. He's hiking a secluded forest, but he realizes he's in the PUBG map and he's well, he a PUBG house. Upon a small house. All right, come on, come on, chat. We need to reset now. We need to, we need to, you know, we need, we need to breathe. We need to get over this. We need to slow down. Have a sip of water if you've got some. Oh. Well, this, this actually seems like a creepy one. This, this video so far has had a pretty creepy video. The first one was fucking weird. That weird like live stream, like live stream. Number one was already fucking weird. This could be a good video. Come on, we we need. To, that seems serious. to be abandoned. After hesitating at first, he later decides to get close to the property. What happens next is downright terrifying. This is what he caught. Oh, must... Okay, set the on. Oh, it's polite that you knocked first, because it's clearly abandoned, but it's good to make sure, isn't it? Fucking hell. I tell you what, mate. You can see a lot in here. If there's a ghost, we can see it. Oh, fucking hell. Come on. <laughs> Did he scream at the light? Calm down. Come on. He's on edge. How tall is this motherfucker? Jesus. He's having to duck. Fucking Shaquille O'Neal's ghost hunting. Slenderman out in the woods has posted a video to YouTube. 
This is, this is Slender Man searching for the fucking eight pages. So why is his head on a tilt? Just straighten your head, bro. Ah! Oh, fuck it out! Whoa! Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! Fuck! That scared the fuck out of me! That scared the fuck out of me! Holy shit! <laughs> fucking Jeff the Killer up there! Did he fall down the stairs? I would as well. It appears at the house. Holy fuck, what is that? What is that? Oh, it moves at the last minute too. The fuck is that thing? I can't tell if it's human or not. If it's human, I'm more inclined to say it's not paranormal. It's just like a squatter, but fuck me. Dude. Scared the fuck out of me, though. That actually freaked me out. It does just look like Jeff the Killer, though, to be fair. You know what it looks like? It looks like a fucking... Wait, wait, no, no, no. You know what it looks like? Like, for real? It actually looks a little bit low-key. <laughs> oh, wait, no, hold on. Wrong thing. Uh, here we are. It looks low key like this. <laughs> the fucking smile dog creepy pasta. Does that shit Photoshop? <laughs> it looks like fucking smile dog, <laughs> which like now makes it dumb. Like now I'm laughing because like he just fucking ran into a creepy pasta in real life. Ah! <laughs> what do you mean? Ah! Falls down the stairs. It appears that the house wasn't abandoned after all. It's unknown as to who or even what. <laughs> that feels really sarcastic. It appears the house wasn't abandoned after all. After the man falls down the stairs and gets concussed. Had been inside. Whether it was the owner of the house. What is it? Or something else. There's no denying that whoever or whatever this was has left the man completely disturbed. He's bro screams like a video game character. Yeah, he, it's a weird scream. <laughs> Maybe next time he'll think twice before entering a house in the middle of a forest. Like, realistically, though, like, it's probably just faked. Like, it's one of those ones where it's like, it's a cool video. It scared the fuck out of me. Like, it, it, like I, I fuck with the video. But, like, realistically, like, it's just, like, staged, most likely. It's, it's like, too, it's, it's, in, it's in that too good to be true category of, like, that's definitely not paranormal. It's either staged or there's a squatter. Like there's just a squatter in the house in the middle of the woods because it's about it's perfectly fine abandoned house in the middle of the woods and like you would squat there if you had nowhere to live. Like it could just be that as well. But like either way, it's, I don't think it's a ghost. Like it's just it's a weird thing, you know. Why does someone just put in the chat? Hog Rider. Does this have to do with Clash of Clans? Why have you just- Someone just randomly put HOG RADA In the chat- You have to say it like that by the way What was the relevance? That wasn't the HOG RADA You know, it wasn't Even though the <laughs> Armpit rider, fuck off <laughs> This is like the new 3.5 People are just gonna say armpit and chat I'm gonna laugh Following video is disturbing by itself The story behind it makes it more unsettling Okay In 2008, somewhere in Thailand a group of friends were having a karaoke party at a friend's house when out of nowhere, something pretty creepy had appeared at the party. According to the group, as they were drinking and partying happily, an uninvited guest had made an appearance. All right. Now it's safe to assume that the next time they throw a karaoke party, it won't be at this house. Why are you pure sarcastic today, man? Just on, like everything he says is like, I think it's safe to say that they won't be throwing another party at this house. Who? Are, why is he like? He's usually not this. He's like on. He's sassy today. Is what he is. As what was caught on camera has left them all disturbed. The following is the video they took. Okay. Nice, like, early 2000s vibes. Looks fun.
What? What is that? I don't... What? It's still there. Like, I'm not off-put by it. It's just like an object. Like, it's either... It could be a person. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think... It was probably just a thing in the background. Everyone's saying Dobby. Like, it just looked like a thing. I don't know. What? Not all that, like... It's still there. Like, it's just a thing. This is like the woman in the road. It's just an object in the house. Objects are in houses. That's not a human. That's just a thing. It's not even moving. Like, I realize it does look roughly like a person, but like, it's, just, it's filmed on a fucking Nokia. Like, it's probably just an object. No one's reacting to it. Like, if it eventually moves, then yeah, all right. Little bit odd, but fucking... It's literally not moving. It's just a thing. It isn't until seconds later that a distinctive face can be seen in the back... It's not a distinctive face! It's like five pixels that like coincidentally look a bit face-like. But when all the other faces in the frame look definitely face-like, I'm inclined to believe that this is just a thing that looks a bit like a face. Fucking hell. Of this footage. Looks more like fucking John Pork. You know what I mean? Like it's just fucking John Pork or some shit. However, as many viewers have pointed out, there's something about this face that just doesn't seem right. Because it isn't a face! For one, it appears to have no body attached to its head. Because <laughs> it isn't a face! I don't understand how you could, like, push... This is the wildest narrative push. It's just a bunch of people having fun at a party, and there is an object in the background that looks roughly like a face, and everyone's like, but there's no body on the face. Because it's not a face! And according to some, if you look close enough... Its face appears to be covered in blood. Does it? Unbelievable. Despite its obvious appearance, no one at the party had noticed the floating head until looking back at the footage. But, as if this video wasn't creepy enough, the story behind it makes it even more unsettling. The friends have stated that on the same night of the karaoke party, a friend of theirs had gone into a fatal car crash. Needless to say, the friend had passed away upon impact. If that was the car crash, fucking it's sad, but yes. It wasn't Christ. until the day after that the group was notified about their friend's death. Although very unfortunate, it was after he- And they are just partying? No, they didn't know. They didn't know. Obviously you wouldn't just be partying if your friend was dead. They just didn't know. I think 80 subs today, by the way. Holy shit. I'll, I will turn the subs back on for a second. Yeah. Hearing about this and looking at the video that they put two and two together the and concluded that this Mark Iplier videos will just start playing in empty rooms in their house. I think they're being trolled. I don't think there's a Mark Iplier ghost, I'm gonna be honest. Mysterious face was actually their friend who passed away that same night. Although I don't think so. Though not entirely sure if that's the case. They can't help but think that this may have been the apparition of their friend who was paying them a final visit before passing away. Regardless, with or without context, the f When you add the context, yeah, it's a creepy narrative. But like, this is a fucking MatPat tier theory. Like, it's just an object. You know? I, I just, no. face itself is quite disturbing to look at. Even after 14 years, this video continues to remain a mystery. No, it doesn't! Oh, no, don't get me started, please. Why the noise? It's not usually a noise now, like that. Although this next video doesn't have the best quality in terms of its footage. <laughs> oh, but the last one did. It is still nonetheless creepy. 
The video itself has little to no information, as with most videos that come from- What did MatPat do? Look up, uh, is Nez Sans, or is Sans Nez. Just look that up. You'll know what MatPat did. Also, uh, gave the Pope a copy of Undertale. <laughs> just, just, not necessarily a bad thing, just something I found really funny. I, and, and then, and then not only that, not only did the Pope get a copy of Undertale, then a few years later after the Pope has maybe played Undertale, uh, the, the, some fucking band performs a dance to Megalovania to the Pope. And he probably went, ah, that a song that Amatapat gave me. I don't know how the Pope sounds, but that, that a song Amatapat gave me, you know? Look him. Yeah, the Pope has been exposed to too much Undertale. All right? Or can we just... He's an old-ass dude. Right? Let's just leave him alone. Stop showing him fucking sands. Another country. However, we can easily tell what's going on in the footage. Someone, along with others, are at a cemetery where they seem to be visiting a certain gravesite. Is that a fucking Louis Vuitton grave? Like, oh, no, it isn't. So I feel a bit disrespectful now. Honestly thought it was the Louis Vuitton pa pattern. Now I feel slightly rude. I apologize. All appears to be normal until minutes later when the following is caught on camera. Okay, that's the laziest they've done so far. Usually they at least translate it or at least try. Fucking speaking foreign language is 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 up there with lazy. Oh, the music's kicked in, something's bound to happen. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is like nauseating to watch. It's giving me like motion sickness. It feels like it's like... I've like tried to stabilize it, but the frame rate is so low. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. I was looking for one rookie error. Which was, does the ghost move at a faster frame rate than the rest of the video? Because if it does, then it's clearly added in post. We've had that before, where someone's edited in a ghost at a higher frame rate than they've edited in everything else. But... That ghost is actually moving at the same frame rate as the video, which is a little bit less, you know. Oh my, yeah, let's watch that again. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. Towards the end of the video, we can see what appears to be a shadow-like figure quickly manifest out of nowhere and then disappear seconds. That looks edited. Yeah. I'm just always... Oh, you know what it is? Aaron, you make a very good point. Uh, we've seen things that look edited before, but I always look for really rookie mistakes when editing because when something's filmed on something this low quality, to edit it is hard. Like, to edit really, really fucking shitty low quality footage is hard because you have to have really shitty low quality assets. And, and unless, you, obviously, it was a high-quality video that you then compressed when you edited it. But, like, you know, but... Like, yeah, I know what you mean. It doesn't seem right. Later, given the location of... The ghost didn't skip any frames, though. I, I absolutely double-checked. The ghost moves at the exact frame rate of the uh, video, which is, you know... That would be the, 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 probably the easiest, like, error to make. This video, viewers are confident that whatever this was had to be something supernatural. Yeah, with very little inf information on this video, it's hard to be sure if that's the case. That it is weird. Like, that's a bit weird. Because, again, it, it, there's no obvious evidence that it's edited other than just, like, you know, it's weird. Being said, had a ghost been caught on camera or was something else captured? Yeah. 
If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. I've sent my video and he's that never posted said, it, so... let's get back you know. to the video. They're just MCCing, MCC in heaven. What? What? Wait, what's this MCC joke? I think I zoomed out for like three seconds and now that everyone's making an MCC joke that I'm not in on. What? What was the MCC joke? Oh, it's doing parkour. I understand. The following image was submitted by- Oh, another fucking photo. Photos are interesting ones. Ila J, who writes, My friend took this picture of her daughter inside their new house. She says it was just the two of them there, but that's not what it looks like. This is what was captured. What? There appears to be a dark figure standing behind this child. Yeah, I'm gonna be for real, I'm not ultimately convinced by this. There's like a lot of... Yeah, like I, I'm not ultimately convinced here. I don't know what it is, but I I feel like there's probably a way of explaining it, especially if it's like a fucking film picture, which it looks to be. Film's weird; it can develop weird. I don't know. I'm just not, just not ultimately convinced. It's a little bit weird because she doesn't look big enough to project a shadow like that's that big and it's kind of in a weird spot but also I don't know what's in their house. You know, like there's there's a lot of factors that are like kind of lost out of the image but I, I understand it looks a bit odd given all the information you've got from the image alone but like, I don't know, I reckon if you were there you'd probably be able to explain it. There appears to be a dark figure standing behind this child. If the mother claims mm. that she and her daughter were the only ones inside this house, then who was this? Uh, what do you mean, who? Like, that looks like a, th a person. Like, it just looks like a thing. It's the second thing we've just accused of being paranormal. Although some photos are clear examples of pareidolia, this one appears the mother claims that she and her daughter were the only ones inside oh, this house. Oh, that's what someone was saying pareidolia in chat earlier, and I wonder what then that was. Then who was this? Although some... Right, so pareidolia is just where, like, a thing looks like a thing. You know? Like, like, oh, that looks like a skull, but it's not a skull. Like, well, earlier when that thing looked a bit like a face, but, like, it clearly wasn't a face, it was just a thing. Some photos. The child is a stand user. I have been playing, don't even mention stands to me. Guys, I have been playing the fuck out of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure PS1 fighting game with Comedy Joe from the tour. Oh, we've been playing that so much. Raid! Tommy Raiders, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. I hope Tommy's been telling you great tour stories. I've told a couple. Chat has been a bizarre stream, as you know, here at the Jack Manifold TV channel. Let me let me stick some music while we talk. Fucking arts loud. Welcome. So, what we are doing is we are watching some of the creepiest ghost sighting videos on YouTube because I am a bit of a ghost believer myself. If you saw the video me and Tommy did with Sam and Colby, you will know that uh, we had some fucking weird experiences, and I've had my own ones as well. Uh, but we've had an interesting stream. Not uh, The first video we watched of ghost sighting videos were all pretty shit. I'm pretty sure all of them were fake. But this video has had some weird convincing ones. Like a live stream where like some shit flew about. Uh, from a channel that only makes cooking videos. Like a very weird person to fake a, a ghost sighting. So very weird. Um, and also, uh, you know. Uh, um, yeah, some other shit. We also had someone in chat who kept begging me to do an armpit fart. You know, one of those. Uh, like, to a point where it was almost weird, where me and the chat are pretty convinced that it's just, like, someone with a fetish trying to get me to do a thing that'll, like, make them come. Uh, but, like, I don't want to do it. But they were, like, in chat, like, for, like, a whole hour, just, like, every few minutes being like, Jack, please do an armpit fart. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. It was a very interesting experience. Like, I'm convinced they just wanted me to, like, fucking do a fart because it was, like, a fetish of theirs. Uh, so we had a good laugh about that. <laughs> I was suggesting a YouTube series called Tiny Husband. If you're also, like me, really amused by people with strange non-sexual fetishes trying to get people to do things because it's a fetish. 
It's very, like, it, uh, I'm not going to get into it right now. I'm going to appear, appear weird to the new viewers. But welcome. If you don't think I'm weird, feel free to follow. Of course, if you are Tommy viewers, then you probably have seen the Tommy in it uh, Annoying at First Tour, which I am a part of. Uh, if you haven't, then there are still tickets available for the last three shows. So please do feel free to buy them. The link will fly through chat, I'm sure. Uh, but if you're also into anything creepy, I do a lot of ghost-related content. A lot of horror content. Uh, I react to a lot of it. I play a lot of horror games. Uh, I'm planning on doing my own IRL ghost hunting streams. So uh, if any of that uh, does, you know, see you in London. Oh, sick. Thank you. Yeah, feel free to follow if you enjoyed the tour as well. And of course, feel free to sub because I really like money. But anyway, um, we're going to get back to watching creepy stuff. Thank you for being here. It is greatly appreciated. Um, we're just finishing up on this one uh, where it was just like a, it, it's just like a, it was a, it was a picture of like a little girl. It was like a weird, like black figure behind her. But like, it's probably just a shadow. Like, I'm not really, not all that convinced by this. It's a weird shadow, but like it's fucking, it's a film picture. You know how film develops. It's weird. But yeah, thank you. GK BO60 appears to be a dark one. figure standing behind this oh, child. We've seen this, by the way. Mila J believes nothing else other than a person had been caught on camera. Mila J believes that whatever this was, it had to be like something delicious, again? as she can't help but feel a negative vibe from this photo. According ah, of course, yes, this picture gives her a bad vibe. There must be a ghost to her. She believes that something is haunting this child, but until Mila Ooh. provides more information. It seems that we won't know as to what exactly was caught on camera. It's always this voice? What do you mean? It's just a dude. This is how the dude sounds. This is bizarre bub. It's how he talks. This is the last one. This is number one in the scary compilation. Reddit user Salty Devushka. It's off to a terrifying start. This is a story from a user of Reddit. This is already harrowing. Lives on a military base that she believes is haunted. What? What do you mean you live on a military base? What did you, you get to live on a military base? The house that she lives in, which is on this military complex, LMAO, is rife with paranormal- on the page on rhythmtrends.com talking about the French Omegalol. What? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Pause this. Wait, I'm on the front page of what? Talking about who? Where? What? Where am I? What? Let me read that again. Hold on. Where, where was this? Uh, where, where, what? I'm on the front page of what? Talking about the French? Let me let me find this. Wait, before we move on, sorry, chat. French. Rhythmtrends.com. Let's have a look at this. Rhythm. Trend. Oh, I spelled rhythm wrong. Rhythmtrends.com. What? Okay. I've never heard of this website, but they've got a picture of Kai Senna on the front. What? Oh, they got merch. What? What? Was this bait to promote merch? Did I just get baited into promoting merch? I'm a moron. I'm an actual moron. I'm an actual moron. I'm an actual idiot. I'm an idiot. No. Fuck's sake! I got fucking baited! And they, all they've got on the website is quote of the week. If you make a girl laugh and giggle, you can make that ass clap and jiggle. Kai Senat. Fuck off! Don't buy that shit. You do not buy this fucking merch. Got fucking baited into promoting this shit. I'm so pissed! I'm so un un unfathomably pissed. Who fucking did that? I'm, I'm fucking mad. I'm I'm seething. I'm seething. Oh fuck off! All right, we're going back to the video. Fuck! I'm so mad. That's such a fucking good way of marketing something. Fucking pranking a streamer into an opening opening the fucking website live. Oh, no. Activity. And ever since moving right. in, she's been feeling the very The door kind of closed a bit. The, the breeze. Now, All for right. some reason, the bathroom of this house has had the most activity. 
According to her, there's... We're going to remove it from the VOD. I might get decked to blur it, but I want to leave it in because I, I, it was funny that I was that dumb. Something about this bathroom that creeps her out. One night, while being in her bed... I'd be fucking creeped out if someone was looking at me like that. Close your damn eyes when you're sleeping. Sleep with your fucking eyes open. Only John A does that. Drew, she heard a strange noise coming from inside. Actually, I did it once, but I was like mega sleep deprived. I was at work and I was trying to stay awake at my desk. And I remember falling asleep with my eyes open. Because it's like a weird... Because like, you can still see. That's the weird thing. Like, that's the thing that freaked me out. If you fall asleep with your eyes open, you can still see. But like you're dreaming. I was, I was having a dream. But like, like the, the backdrop of this dream was like m m m what I was seeing it was weird. If anyone in chat's ever falling asleep with your eyes on, you know what I mean. Like, it's not, no, it was, no, it's not called a daydream. Like I was asleep. Like I fell asleep. Like I was having a whole dream. Like I was actually asleep. But like, I never stopped seeing what was in front of me. Is that not sleep paralysis? No, because I fell asleep with my eyes open. Like, my eyes were open. Like, I fell asleep like this. Like, I was asleep. Like, that can happen. Your eyes aren't dry. It was only for like five minutes. I was supposed to be working. So I woke up because I was like, fuck, I'm asleep. It was weird. But yeah, you know, just look at fucking uh, Scott Post Twitter. He posted a video of John A asleep with his eyes When open. she checked out the noise, she found the dustpan inside the bathroom on the floor. Someone or something had knocked it over. This odd occurrence would randomly continue throughout the days. But then one night, in an attempt to capture the strange occurrence, she records the following on camera. So what happens? I missed context. Continues on one. When she checked out the noise, bedroom, this? she heard about what? this bathroom that creeps her out. Okay, bathroom. One night, while being in her bedroom, She's in the bedroom. she heard a strange noise coming from inside. Oh, the bathroom, okay. When she checked out the noise, she found the dustpan inside the bathroom on the floor. Someone or something had knocked it over. This odd occurrence again. So like depending on where you left it, it, could just be the breeze or like gravity. Like, you know, it, uh, there's like a a couple of things I jumped to before ghost, but we'll this see. would randomly continue throughout the days. But then one night, in an attempt to capture the strange occurrence, she records the following on camera. Hey, Moo. Come here, buddy. That dog's called Emu. That's oh, fucking cute. Oh, he's a sick dog. Oh, wrong light. Uh, so many light switches here. No strings. Uh, if I could keep my hands. Oh, in sight. <laughs> uh... Anyone who feels the need to say no strings right before they film like a ghost thing makes me skeptical. Reason being, in my experience, ghost activity is fucking pure random. Pure random. You, you never know when it's going to fucking happen. And if you know that something's about to happen in, with enough time to start filming and be like, by the way, this isn't fake, guys, and then the thing happens conveniently after you've explained it isn't fake, that's some, like, very coincidental timing that always makes me a bit like... Also, like with Sam and Colby, they never go, this isn't fake. They just film the shit that happens, and it speaks for itself. Like, they, don't, they don't have to say it's not fake. Anyone who, like, is trying to convince you something isn't fake, it's probably fake. Like, that's how I tend to find it. Like, if you, if, if I, like, the, like the, the ghost experience I had on stream, I didn't start to sit there explaining that it wasn't fake. I, it just happened. So I posted the clip. Like, if I just catch something on camera, I'll just post the clip. I'm not going to be like, g g g guys, this is not fake. He's sick, by the way. It oh. happened again. Yeah. You see, right the second they finished explaining, going, there's no strings, I would, blah, blah, blah. just as they finished. Watch this. Like, just, just yeah. note the timing. So many light switches here. No strings. Oh, if I could keep my hands. Oh, in sight. <laughs> uh, both hands here. Right. They're right there. Right, buddy? Just finished the same. Both hands. Pans down to the dog. Bang! Thing falls. It's like... Come on. I'm not going to look behind me. I'm not fucking... It happened again. And there's absolutely no one in the... Came back, right? I don't know what else to think. Wowie, it's a strange, rock. Thank you for the prime. It's the following night that has left her the most spooked. Devushka had recorded the following and captured this. It's a sick name. Devushka. This.
You're telling me weird shit's happening in your house. Right? And you're like, I better catch this shit on camera. And you don't think, oh, I'll pull out my iPhone really quick to make sure I catch it the next time it happens. You think, no, no. I'll grab my top mount shotgun mic and my fucking Sony A7C <laughs> and I'll film it professionally. What did that add? Uh, that's what I'm put off by. Like that, that, that says to me, you're a content creator, which says to me, you're looking to make content, which makes me skeptical. I understand. I'm a content creator that's had like ghost experiences. I get it. But mine was on a live stream that randomly occurred, right? And like, I, I understand convenient timing because it was middle of a ghost stream. I realize it's actually through my own standards, there's a lot of reason to doubt my one. So like, I, I get that I might just be being harsh, but like it does get my back up. What was that? Well, what? Also, what? What? Why? What? Why would you not just export the video and post that? Why are you filming your fucking camera on your phone? What? No, like, it feels to me like it's an intentional way to obscure the details. You know what I mean? Like, w just fucking, w what? Prove it's not edited? No, you can edit a video and put it on a camera. Yeah, in fact, yeah, you can. Like, you can just, like, you, if you want it. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying they have edited that. I don't think they have, but like, say they had. You, what you do, you film it. Take the SD card out, you edit it, you put it back on the SD card, you put the SD card back in the camera, and then you view the media. Like, the camera doesn't know what was filmed on the camera. It just, it just, it, there's just media. Like, it just, it's just scanning for media and playing it. Like, there's just a basic media player, like, like a kernel on there. Like, I don't really, like, you could edit. I'm not saying it is edited. It doesn't appear edited. I reckon it's just, like, some weird practical effect. But, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't think, like, it's, just, I, I don't get why they're filming the camera. That's my, that's my weird thing. Like, I, that's what I really, because, like, it doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove that you've not edited it. That's so much work, though. No, it isn't. It's no more work than editing it in the first place. Film on a camera, you'd have to take it off the camera and get it on the computer and edit it and export it. The only extra step is putting it back on the SD card. It's no extra edit, e effort to do that. Uh, and it doesn't prove anything. That's why, uh, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the purpose of filming the camera. Like, what a weird way of like... Based on this footage, could it like, be that Devushka had- Like, what does that Look, let me prove it. Where's my camera? My camera, let me just grab my camera. Let me prove a point, right? Here's what we're gonna do, just to, just to prove a point. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna start recording. We're gonna go, hello, this is a video of me that is definitely not done on this camera. You can tell it's off. This video, it, it, like, you, the, I can't possibly have filmed this video here with this camera here. That's all I wanna prove, right? Now watch this. I'm now going to grab my SD card reader, plug it into my computer,
Alright, I can't get the USB in the USB. There we are. I'm now going to take the SD card out of the camera and put it in the SD card reader. All right. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the video we just filmed. Right. The one where I was saying it can't possibly be on this camera. And I'm going to put it. And you're never going to believe this. Uh. Hold on, sorry, I typed the file name wrong. My apologies. Hold on. Right, okay. And then I'm gonna take the SD card out of the computer and I'm gonna put it in the SD card slot on the camera. It's a lot of effort just to prove a point, but I, I just wanna absolutely, without shadow of a doubt. All right? Turn the camera on. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, wait. Maybe I am wrong. Hold on. I thought that would work. Maybe now I'm an idiot. Hold on. That I, I'm glad I proved the point because I was like, at the end of the day, I would, wouldn't want to be wrong. And apparently I am. Never mind. Hold on. Okay. Maybe there is. Maybe that is the point of filming, sh filming the camera. Maybe it is to prove it's not editors. I figured you probably could. I I still reckon you could. Like, I, I reckon you can fake whatever signature it needs to play the video. Like, I don't think that's actually... Like, I reckon if, like, handbrake it or something, it'll... No, what's it missing? What's it missing that all the other... F uh, let me... I, I reckon there'll, there'll be a way of getting it to play. Like, there'll just be some signature that it needs or something. I, I reckon I could probably... Uh... Let's have a quick look. Okay. What? Cool. Uh, hmm. Hang on. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Guys, wait, I, I know this is boring. I'm just looking. You see, is it that the frame rate's too fast? Yeah, you see the bit rate's up and everything. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Bit rate's down. Uh, it might be the fact that it's a 60 FPS video and the camera only films at 25 FPS. That could be it. Look, everyone's like, like an hour later. Please, I'm just, I actually want to work this out because I'm very curious. It could be that. I, all right, I'll drink some water. Mm. Lovely. Hey. I, all right, I'll figure this out in my own time because now I'm curious. But you get the point. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can't add it then. I, I reckon you still can. I reckon there's still a way of doing it. I reckon like, it's just there's something different about those two files and, and the, you know. But the, you get my point, right? You get my point. Like, I, I, may, I, I was maybe wrong. Maybe maybe you, you can't put a video back on a camera. And maybe that, that is to prove it's not edited. But I still think it's a bit weird. I don't know. It caught video of something paranormal. Or might there be some logical explanation for this? As always. It's probably like a breeze. Like a draft. You're probably not sitting the fucking dustpan and brush. Why is it always knocking over a dustpan and brush? Like, you're probably just putting the dustpan and brush in a weird spot. What are your thoughts? 
Yeah, you can't put a 60 FPS video on a camera that films in 25 FPS. That's my thinking. Like, I, I reckon I just did it in the wrong FPS. I'm gonna actually, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it. I, I'm, I'm determined. I'm determined to get this right. All right, I'm gonna handbrake the footage. I, I'm so adamant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is boring, but I just, I'm so adamant to prove that I'm right. All right. Uh, preset general. Uh, no. Uh, let's have a look. Video frame rate twenty five. Okay. Uh, let's try handbraking it. Oh shit. Uh, stop. I want it to be an MP four. I encoded it to MP. Uh, M4V. Cool. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Hold on. Sorry, chat. I just I need to prove this point. I think you can add edited footage back to a camera. And that will really like, uh, and that will make me even more convinced that this is just a ploy to make you believe it. All right, cool. Let me double check this video. Okay, that's the 25 frames a second video. Why is it 20? Why is it 22.81? It's a 25, what? Oh shit, it fucking. I did the frame rate wrong. Hold on. Need to re export it. I did the frame rate wrong. Let me try this. I am convinced. I'm sorry, I just need to prove this to myself. And then and then consequently you guys. 25 frames a second. Alright, let's put that on the fucking SD card, hey? Okay, I am so convinced this, this should work. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe I am actually unironically wrong. But I just, I don't think so. Okay, SD card's going in. Wish me luck. Wish me luck, guys. I can't get the SD card in. The ghosts don't want me proving it, but I, I all right, I got it on. Maybe it wasn't edited. Guys, maybe it isn't edited. Guys, maybe you can't put a video back on a camera and have it play on the camera. I think you can. But I think it's actually probably quite hard. And that's a lot of effort to go to. I thought it'd be as simple as just edit it, put it back on the camera. I think it might be harder than that. In which case, I'm going to say maybe that one isn't edited. But I still think it's a bit weird. Not quite sure. Jack, we get it. You're right. No, I think I'm wrong. I actually, the exact point I was making there is actually, I think I'm wrong. Someone in chat just said, Jack, we get it. You're th this is why I have to explain myself because people assume things. And here we are. Here we are. Everyone literally just explained I was wrong as one, but yep. Took five minutes to be wrong. I I'm sorry. I'm thorough. Look, I people come here to watch me analyze these ghost videos and prove whether they're real or fake. And that was a key piece of evidence in my fucking argument and I needed I cared for the explanation. Thank you, M4 Oons. I appreciate you. People like you are what get me through the day. Either way, let's review this video. Most convincing bit of footage from today. Uh, or from this video here. Let me let me move out of the way of the uh, scroll bar. Uh so let's have a look just to uh, go through them all. All right, yeah. Most convincing, by far, the live stream of the cooking lady where the cupboard flies the fuck open and, like... Oh, let me pause the music. Um, the cupboard flies the fuck open and then shit flies out the cupboard while on a live stream of a woman that just usually cooks. Actually, wait. She does lunge away from the uh, cupboard early. That's a bit odd. But still, I, I, I'm still, like, pretty convinced that that one is pretty weird. But that is slightly weird behavior. Like, she jolts away from the cupboard before. That? 
<laughs> oh no, she just kind of steps back. It, just, it seems a bit jittery, but I guess she'll be on edge. But that's the most convincing. I'm not saying it's 100% real, but I'm saying it's the most convincing one from this one. Then I would say... Uh, honestly, I still think it's kind of fake. But this thing falling over... It's, it's not outlandish. Like, it's just a thing falling over in a room. Like, that's not, like, some crazy, like... Look at this ghost. Like, it's like, it could be paranormal, but, like, also it could be something else. Like, I, I don't really, like... I don't want to shit on this girl for something that might be like actually creepy, but also maybe not. Uh, this one in the graveyard with a little shadow figure like shows up. It's definitely hard to prove was edited in a way where like usually I think you can tell. That's weird. But like shadow figures always just like, it's a lot. That's a, that's a big fucking thing. I've never once, like I, I, I've seen her chat. I've never seen a shadow figure. Like, until I see one in real life, I'm not ultimately convinced they're real and they're not just, like, an edited phenomena. But, but again, you never know. You never know. So, that, that, is, th that is then probably the next most convincing. Uh, then, the weird uh, picture of the baby with the thing behind it. I don't think it's anything, but, like, ultimately, I, I can't say for certain, but I'm, I'm leaning towards no. Uh, this video that's either clearly Ooh. staged or just a squatter, uh, where there's, like, a weird, like, f the fucking smile dog creepypasta in the, the attic. It's definitely just a staged video or they ran into a squatter. It's way too good to be true to be a paranormal thing. But at the end of the day, it was the scariest video by far. I actually fucking jumped. So like props to the video, but I'm not convinced. Uh, then uh, finally, the least convincing of all. This fucking object that they're trying to tell me is the face of a dead person. That's just clearly a fucking object in a room. Like, it's just not a scary thing. Like, no one in the video is scared. They're just having fun and there's a thing. Like that. Yeah, no, I just... No. It's... That, that's just silly. There's a creepy story attached to it. I get it. But, like, come on. Come on. But that is my final review of that video. Now, we've watched two Bizarre Bub videos today, which is quite good as far as it goes. We've been live for two hours 15, and obviously, I am I have still been doing a tour for the past three weeks, and I'm a little bit tired. So, despite the fact that it hasn't been the longest stream, and I do appreciate the people who have showed up from the raid, I realize you haven't been here for too long, I will have to call the stream. I'm very tired.